Hello YouTubers, it's the GQR Diagnostics and Repair here with a new video. We got a 2005 Honda Accord, four-door sedan, EX, automatic front-wheel drive, and what I'm going to show you is how to remove and replace the window regulator. In this case right now, the cover is out. Customer decided to take that apart, so I can't show you that. It's already being taken apart. But when it came to here, well, they want me to do it for them, so no problem, sure. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna need is gonna be a 10 millimeter uh, socket, 10 millimeter wrench. So on this case, the position is, is, is there, right there, okay? So we gotta remove one, two. Usually you can bring it down here, so those two holes right here, you can actually use the you socket an extension and remove it from there but in this case the regulators come stuck there so we're not gonna do that I can't show you that that one <clears throat> okay that is uh, that's it this one here I do gonna use this 10 millimeter and my Milwaukee tool. I'm not getting a sponsor by Milwaukee, so that's what I'm using. In case somebody uh, think that uh, you know advertising, nope. That's the only thing that I use right now for this job. Ten. Okay, I got three so far. Now I want you to take uh, pay attention here. The two long ones. See, this is, is a short versus long one. The two long ones goes right here for the window regulator and the glass. So that way everything fits properly. So we got this right here on. This is a short one too. This one, we don't, we don't need to remove it all the way. This one have a hole so we can just slide it out and put it on place. Same thing here with the electrical motor here. <coughs> Move that and the other two we can actually just uh, tilt it the next thing that we got to do here is to disconnect the, 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 the connector the power source right here so we're gonna squeeze it's on this side the east side you're gonna squeeze and we're gonna pull there you go so let's see if I can hold the camera so you guys can see it. Hopefully it's a good angle. Now with the other hand, we're going to push the window up. In this case, staying there. And we are going to... Let's see if we can get it right through here. Okay, so that way you guys can see better. Okay, I'm bringing it right through here and it comes out just like that no problemos okay so here is the part that I'm going to be using for this application so doorman again I'm not getting a sponsor by doorman or anybody I purchased this on the local AutoZone store uh, oh they treat me well make good friends they help me a lot when they can Highly appreciate it for you guys watching the video. If you're not, no problem. But anyhow, this is what I'm using so you guys can uh, see and understand. The next thing that we gotta do is make sure that we actually have the right part. So we're gonna put it right next to each other. And it does look like the right part. Perfect, so we're gonna transfer this bolt that we left there. Let me remove it there. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it there. And we're gonna put the other two bolts that were left on the electrical motor. Okay, that's one. So that will one will put everything back. Things can stay. themselves we don't have to try to uh, 
<coughs> this is the cover so the connector doesn't get damaged. So this is there. And as you notice, the window is starting to slide down very, very little at the time. So be careful. Connector is clicked. Okay. So, so far, there's that. We're gonna put the third one that is here. Then we're gonna install the one on the bottom. Alright, so right here, that one, the other bolt is there. I don't know if you guys can see it there. That's for the window regulators. Everything is here installed. So what we're gonna do is just tie this up. up. do here it's got to be installed yes we want to bring it down so we can tie those two bolts next and uh, we got to test this ignition switches are its own we're gonna lower it so we can tight this Lift it up, make sure it works all the way. Goes up and down. And that is perfect. Okay, the next thing you guys gotta do is just make sure you go and check all this bolts and nuts, they're nice and tight. Don't just try to over tight it with a little uh, gun there because sometimes you can strip it or under tight it whatever happened to be just just be cautious about it okay so anyhow so if you like the video and you learn something from it and help you in any way shape or form uh, please uh, give it a thumb up like the video comment share the video uh, and subscribe to the channel that will definitely help me to stay motivated to keep taking the time to create in this type of video for you guys and hopefully I can help somebody around the world doesn't matter where you at uh, to fix your car and get you back on you know on the road again as usual God bless do your best forget the rest and I will see you in the next video later <laughs>